In this video, we will explain how to quickly and effectively rig Adamson E-Series subwoofers. The E119 and E219 can travel on dollies with covers, or can be shipped with casters attached for easy movement. A variety of different covers are available depending on your preferred configuration. The E-Series subwoofers employ an integrated rigging system which allows the user to quickly attach subs to one another. All E-Series subs will allow you to curve a hanging array of subs in 3 degree increments in order to match the sight line of a flown line array. The E119 has this feature on both the front and rear rigging points, allowing the user to curve a cardioid array. Each subwoofer attaches to the next with drop-down rigging pieces and push pins. The E-Frame sub is designed to hang all subwoofers in the E-Series family, and consists of two sets of channels. The inner channel suspends the E219, and the outer channel suspends the E119. To prepare the frame for lifting, remove the push pins at all four corners to allow the downlinks to drop from the channel of the frame. Use the push pin to re-secure the link in its downward position. Bring the frame just above the height of the sub you will be suspending. Remove the top push pins on the subs and lower the frame until the downlinks are seated in the top channels of the sub. Secure the frame in place with the top push pins of the sub. Raise the sub until it is high enough to roll the next set of subs underneath. Remove the top push pins from the subs on the ground. Drop the down links from the flown subs and secure the links in place using the push pin. In this instance, we will set the front rigging links angles to 3 degrees rather than 0. Lower the flown subs until the rigging links are seated in the top channels of the sub. Secure the links in place using the top push pins. Raise the subs and remove the dolly from underneath. Detailed descriptions of the operation and rigging for these products can be found in the user manuals available on the Adamson website.